You're listening to international investment advisor Doug Goldstein on the Goldstein on Yelp Show, the financial show where we'll talk about how you can make the most of your money. With all the confusing financial chatter bombarding you each and every day, Goldstein on Yelp will give you the practical information you want and need about living a financially stable life. Here's your host, money maven Doug Goldstein. Okay, we are back. We are talking to Moshe Weiss, who is the chairman of Internet Ramon. Many of you may know Internet Ramon as the clean Internet provider, and I'd like to welcome you to the show. Hi, thank you. Can you tell us, um, can people actually use a clean Internet without losing quality or speed or security? Definitely. The, um, the whole purpose of the company was to give the customers a service which, actually the service which they would like, to have an Internet experience, giving them the ability and the speed, um, but at the same time giving them technologies which will allow them to feel their, their homes are secure. How does that work? Well, um, the uh, a team of uh, people, about 14 people actually, working for three and a half years, have created a uh, very, very, uh, actually you know, globally we consider like the number one filter around the world, which up till now the, the filters are blacklist, whitelist. So you have sites which are not, you know, not, uh, you know, off, off grounds and, and the websites which are okay. But the world of internet is a, is a gray area. A lot of this content is mixed content. And the, these uh, developers, when we started three and a half years ago, set out to say that unless we're able to deal with the page, actually every page to see what part of the content is permissible or what not. So if you're talking about places like uh, Google or Facebook or YouTube, so the goal was to be able to create an experience which um, you should have to close the website, but just make sure whatever comes into the house would be what the customer wants. I see. So you have technology that actually goes through a specific website and can pull out or segregate stuff that's not welcome. Correct. We call, we, we call it quilting. I mean, so. yeah, I mean you know, you know if those who are familiar, when you go into Google and you're, uh, you're looking for something innocent, many times you'll receive an answer which is a, a promiscuous material, things which you don't want to get to. We'll clean the Google for you. So you may actually only get a, a clean Google, for example. And is that something you do in cooperation with Google, or is that no. totally on your end? On, on our end. I see. So how do you do that? <laughs> it's the technologies. Technologies of, you know, it's ground based. It's, it's a next generation filtering technology, which is uh, going around the world now. We're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, interest from around the world. But this is it's, it being, it's enabling Internet for those who want Internet and yet making sure that, that uh, they're not being uh, exposed to material which, which they don't want to see. So who are the people that are using it? Are they young or old? Dati? It's all, it, it, it started with the Dati Lumi crowd in, in, in Israel, but it's grown very much to, you know, to a lot of some secular. We have a lot of family oriented. We have offices who want you know, the material to the office to be uh, keeping an office environment, schools. Everyone across the board, but it's it, it's enabled to give open internet, you know, as open as possible, but yet not to get to the material which the customer doesn't want. I understand. Are there overrides? Like, you know, if you feel you're not getting anything, or can you set the volume on it? Yeah, we have different levels. I mean, you know, the, the lowest level would uh, would be open to everything except for actual pornography, but yet still, you know, uh, uh, you know, to secular um, culture, media, and some of the ones a bit more tighter can go a level higher, where it's more in, in, for information, education. So you can set the level of what your you know your family is up exposed to. I got you. A lot of people use Facebook and Twitter and sort of other social media. Mm -hmm. Does do you interact with that? Can you deal with that as well? Yeah, well, we, we've, you know, we're selling out an inter we're on a service where <clears throat> if the conversation heads towards areas of cyberbullying, suicide, uh, promiscuous stuff, then the, the, uh, the answers will be quilted out, and the parents would receive a warning that the child is being uh, victimized. Wow. What other yeah. sort of services does Internet Ramon bring to the table? Well, there's a lot. There's, <clears throat> you know, sometimes parents don't want the kids sitting by the internet all day. When he comes up from school, the parents are out of the house. You can set a uh, a clock. You know, the internet will be open from two to three or four to five or whatever, and to what websites he can go to. Uh, I mean, it's 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 empowering the customers to be able to say, what do I want in my house? Or what do I not want in the house? Right now. The internet that's opened is open to everything, and many things which parents, <clears throat> who kid, who uh, 
who are upset that you know they they don't have an, an ability to to filter the me, the media and the entertainment in their homes, and this gives them the the uh, the opportunity to, to create an environment is to which is conducive to what they want at homes. So. I got you. We are talking with Moshe Weiss, who is the chairman of Internet Rimon, which is an internet provider here in Israel that people use when they want to limit the content that comes into their house. Is Internet Rimon a an internet provider like some of the other big companies, or do you sit on top of them? No, uh, individual separate ISB, Shomer Shabbat in Israel, um, and the fastest growing ISP in the past year here in Israel. Um, ah, so you're Shomer Shabbat. Does that mean that the system shuts down on Shabbat? We don't shut down. We don't, we're not, don't shut down, but the workers are not there. I mean, the mission, the mission, the mission, the, uh, everything is open automatically. We have hospitals connected to us. We have some, you know, some, some emergency places open to us, but it's open. But, uh, and the filtering is automatic, but uh, there's no sales or stuff on Shabbat. And what if there are mistakes? What if it's just it's not working right? Okay, so if, you're, if you feel that the site should have been open or should have been locked, there was a very easy way through our website. Um, where you can just type in the um, the uh, URL and it'll be checked and you know and we see it open or closed. You know, we have that, that's very very efficient. So is there like a person who checks, or is it uh, you know so you get some interaction with? It is, it is something which you could even overblock and you send in a, an email, so it it will come to the desk and uh, you'll be answered very shortly. I got you. And is this something businesses would use as well? Of course, uh, actually we have a big business department, offices, schools. Small businesses, you know, people who want the environment, you know, you don't, you have, you know, all the workers at the table uh, looking at things which are going to distract them from, from their work. I hear. And do you sell this service overseas as well? Yes, actually, the, the companies just start, started going global, and we're in a number of countries. Actually, we had last week um, a chemist of Chabad, the Shluchim in, in Russia, who invited us to come there, and a whole bunch of Shluchim have now started connecting to uh, Internet Rewind from Russia. <laughs> Obviously, it sounds like something that the religious community would be very interested in having. But are there people? I mean, or do you feel there's a significant market outside the religious community as yeah, well? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we, it, it, here in Israel, about twenty percent of the customers are non-religious. I don't think it has to do with religious, not religious. Anyone who has, who wants to keep a family environment in his house, would want to have internet run in his house. I gotcha. Uh, very nice. And, and just technically, how does it work if someone wants to sign up or get started? Okay. So we, the, the website of the company is www.neto.net.il. So that's the um, company website. And um, you, know, you, can see, you can study the uh, various levels to see what level you'd like to have in your home. So you can, uh, you can save some time on understanding when you connect, when you call the um, people from the Tmicha Technic to understand the difference between Shamur, Mugan, Herometi, Mugan, so different levels at the, at the company. Mm -hmm. And if you want to call in, it's 1-800-222-234. I repeat, 1-800-222-234. And can you give us a sense for what it costs to have Internet Rima? I think it's about 39 seconds a month. I'm not, I'm not the in sales of Sorry, I just wanted to know. I'm just, just yeah. curious. I think it's about 39 shekel a month. Gotcha. I think so. And we also we have a um, separate department called Etrog for the Haredi community who wants to have even more so it's sort of internet. So there's a separate department called Etrog. Uh, a lot, of, I mean, <coughs> it's for people who want to have basic information through the internet, but they don't want the home open to any forms of uh, uh, anything to do with the inter entertainment. Basically, you want to use entertainment, you want to use internet for information and work, so that's what we created that drug for. I understand. And the, the, this is a financial show, actually. We deal with uh, mostly investment questions, but uh, yeah. the, the company is an Israeli company, so we often talk to heads of Israeli companies. Okay. What's the, the, the future business plan of of uh, Internet Remont. Well, Internet Remont it started in, in Israel about three years ago. It's growing very rapidly. Uh, can be, can be, uh, clientele is very satisfied. And word to mouth, our biggest, uh, our biggest uh, uh, customer bringer is satisfa customer satisfaction. <clears throat> and about a year and a half ago, uh, NetVision became a partner with us. And this enabled us to now take it around the world. And we're starting now with a company called NetSpark, which has the technologies. And we're starting to take the, the same filters to various countries around the world. So does NetVision allow their customers to use your service? Or yeah, they actually NetVision has asked us to start giving us the offer as well. That will be happening in the next few months. Okay. Yeah.
Okay, Moshe Weiss, who's the chairman of Internet Ramon, I would like to thank you very much for your time. It sounds like a, a fascinating company and something that I'm sure many, many people would find useful to have, both in their household as well as in their office. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. You've been listening to the Goldstein on Gelt Show with money maven Doug Goldstein. Doug's weekly radio show is heard around the world, but if you miss it, you can download the podcast at www.goldsteinongelt.com. The Goldstein on Gelt Show gives you up-to-date financial ideas so you can get on the path to financial freedom. If you'd like your questions answered on the air or off, send Doug an email to doug at profile-financial.com. It's your money for your future, so join Doug every week to build your wealth on the Goldstein on Gelt Show.